In this video, I am going to be tracing the presence and absence of the HCM trait, which is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, in the Scott family tree from the TV show One Tree Hill. This is a real phenotype that was actually seen in the TV show and caused the death of one of the main characters, Dan Scott. I'm going to start by testing for the X-link mode of inheritance. I went in and I filled in all the genotypes that I knew. All of the females who did not show the phenotype had to have X little a, X little a. All the males who did have it had X big A, Y, shown here. All the females who did have it had to have at least one big A, but we didn't know the second A. And all of the males who didn't have it had X little a, Y. After making Punnett squares to test this mode of inheritance, I know that it does not work for this pedigree because a cross between Dan Scott and Karen Rowe would not be able to result in the genotype of Lucas Scott. Dan Scott gives the Y to Lucas, meaning that this X big A had to have come from Karen. Next, I tested the x link recessive mode, filling in the genotypes that I knew. All of the females who did not show the trait had to have at least one form of the A, and the woman that came in without parents in the pedigree, I automatically gave two A's unless uh, otherwise told. All the males who did show the trait had X little a Y. All the females who had the trait had to have two of the recessive alleles. And all of the males who had not shown the phenotype had X big A Y. After doing my Punnett squares, I saw that Nathan was able to get a big A from his mother and a Y from his father. Jamie and Lydia both got big A's from both of their parents. Lucas got a little A from his mother and a Y from his father. And Sawyer got little A's from both of her parents. Next, I tested autosomal dominant, filling in the genotypes for those who did not have the phenotype. And it was little a, little a. And those who did have the phenotype had to have at least one big A. We know that Dan had to have another little A because he donated one to his son. And we know that... Lucas also had to have a little a because he donated one to his daughter. Next, I tested autosomal recessive, filling in everyone that had the phenotype as little a, little a, and everyone else as at least one big A. I knew that Peyton had to have a little a because she gave it to Sawyer, and I knew that Karen had to have a little a because she gave it to Lucas. Lastly, I tested Y-linked inheritance, but knew that a female could not have a Y-linked trait and that this was not a mode of inheritance for this pedigree. This was my test work that showed that the modes of inheritance for this pedigree were X-linked recessive, autosomal dominant, and autosomal recessive, outlining the offspring that were actually seen in the pedigree.